Welcome back to Bastion. We're just headed into the Pith Orchard. Maybe we can find a Pith Helmet. I don't know if it's spelled the same. No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. Destroy! <laughs> Things in both directions. Pith Orchard. The place is a dead end in more ways than one. Yeah, picked up a few. Might as well. Folks used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to Pith, the bull. Well, the gods are long gone now. We're fighting in the orchard core. It's long gone too. I'll destroy that later. Pith stood for something once. Something real. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. He couldn't even save his loyal subjects. Something coarse. Alright, so this looks like it's... Headed on up. Let's get the dialogue for destroying the bull. Oh, actually, there's this, or this is too. Plush pith. The gods don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. Tell stuff. The kid gives that old bull what's coming to him. Alright, let's move on. Maybe he is a god, he's not destroyable. Pith makes a decent scarecrow, at least. That Pith lights up like a rodeo. Ain't easy punching through his hide. The kid breaks him to bits. That's right. Must have been guarding that shrine. So Let's what'll it be? Invoke the gods, or tell them off. Foes shall grow quicker to move and to strike. The wakeful bull's patient and temporal adorns the city's walls with... Okay. No XP bonus. Piv. 10%. Grow quicker to move and to strike. Okay, we'll try it. Kid decides to press his luck. If the gods are alive, they must be playing soul. Dead.
passes Pitt's trial, and he's Double Richard three. Ford. So just backtrack more, I guess. Oop. Kid ain't found a core, at least he found Zolf's precious shrine. Good luck. Now we can build a shrine of our own, though I got some alternatives in mind. Plush plush. Ask him about the plush toy. Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. Okay, so we have our own rideable bull. The Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. Oh, we got more booze. Health tonics fully restore health. Plus two health tonic capacity. That seems pretty If simple. you're feeling low, count on the buttery flavor of our own bastion bourbon. Ah, I need a lot more. Oh, it's a shield map. I'll probably do that next. Oh, I didn't even read what it was. There's only one way to send a brick fort. The hard way. Actually, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see if there's any back stuff. Oh, wow. Sure, the city marshals may be gone. Now the fort's crawling with windbags. Any of those. Oh, we 
got a six shooter. Windbags ain't much different from normal folks. All they want is a warm place to stay and a decent meal. Scrap musket. No, it's the musket. Sure can. I'm not digging the scrap musket so much. Give me that brick, bro. He stashes the marshal's prize. Goes back to something more his style. Cinder brick gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. Well, the fort ain't theirs by right. right now. Quick. Can't blame him for wanting them, though. Oh. So many of those sorry things hold up inside that old fort. Not a scratch on him as he presses on the higher ground.
trapped the kid in the middle of the fort's parade ground. Back at base. Kid used to dream of getting a Marshall's badge, but not like this. And hey, now ain't nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrick Fort. Kid shows up just as Ulf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was his smoking pipe. Good for him. The marshal seemed like good man, he says. They treated him with dignity. And the pipe. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Smoke Your up. Your kid collapses after just one drag. Oh, are we in a level? <laughs> the past. Only good thing ever come out of the past is history. Well, we'll do the who knows where level in the next episode because we're running long. So catch y'all next time.